Hello and welcome back to this tutorial series in which I will show you how to bring a package into Minecraft using the Toolbox 2.0. In this tutorial I will show how to prepare your system for installation of Forge Gradle with the Toolbox. Before we use uh, the Toolbox Forge Gradle installation setup and later on the building process, we have to make sure that the system is uh, ready to run. Gradle. So for this we require a Java JDK on the system. If you have installed already Java, this not automatically means you have installed the Java development kit. Normally you only install the runtime environment, which is good enough to run a software but not for development. So where do we get it? It's really really simple. We open Internet browser and looking for Java JDK and currently I prefer version 7. So we got a link from Oracle, open it and here we go. The Java Development Kit 7 download. I accept the download and choose for my system Windows for 64 bits version 7u75 and start the download which takes a few seconds So oh, download is finished and start installation. Yeah, the run. And now we will start installation the JDK with development tool, source code, and so on. On uh, these uh, paths, I will not change the path here, I will uh, copy it because we will. Uh, it use it in a later step. So, okay. Next. Then installation progress is the running. <coughs> so will also install a new runtime environment, which you already know from running Minecraft. And after this is also finished, we can close this and also close the Internet of Browser. So, basically that's it. One last uh, step we have to do. And this uh, step is a really important one because most of you will know it. It's to set up the Java Home variable in the system. If you don't do it, the Forge Gradle will not know where to find Java and will not run. So, how do we set up the Java home variable? It's really simple. We go to start, ah, come on, start, and right click on computer, right, not left, and go to properties. Advanced system settings. And down here we have on the tab advanced environment variables. So here we have to insert now our Java home variable. So first we set new and paste here the copied path to the install just installed JDK. And the variable name is 
Java underscore home all in upper capitals. Okay, so the second step here is we go to the path, edit, and go to the beginning and inside. Java underscore home percent backslash bin and a semicolon and space to separate. So with uh, these both here with the percent Java home percent backslash bin and the Java home up here, we enable any program to find the necessary exec files to execute Java files and Java development files. So, can close it now by OK, OK. And uh, to make sure all this is uh, working, we have to shut down the system and make a restart.